Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It doesn't take long, does it? The week begins with pomp and pageantry as Jesus makes his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The crowd gathers outside of the city to welcome the long-expected king, the one who would take back the throne that once belonged to David. They sing their hosannas, they wave their palm branches, and proclaim with a loud voice, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. But it doesn't take long, does it? It doesn't take long for the Israelites to realize that this is not the king they wanted. That he is not the champion for which they were looking. The Israelites were looking for a Messiah who would come and affirm their status quo, liberate them from their oppression. They were looking for a servant who would protect their interests. They certainly were not looking for a king who would arrive and call them to repent, to admit their faults and failures, to humble themselves and pick up their crosses and follow him. It doesn't take long for God's people to change their loud hosannas to cries of crucify him. Away with this phony, this impersonator, this sham of a king. We don't need him. It doesn't take long for the holiness of God to be rejected by the sin of man. Today marks the beginning of Holy Week. Having completed our long Lenten journey, this week serves as time of intense preparation for Easter. The Sunday of the Passion begins this time of preparation by reminding us that it doesn't take long for us to go from welcoming and celebrating our King to rejecting Him. It doesn't take long for us to go from singing praises to our Lord on Sunday mornings to barely mentioning His name the rest of the week. It doesn't take long for us to go from eating his body and his blood for the forgiveness of sins to wondering when the service will finally be over so we can get out of here. It doesn't take long for us to go from being passionate about the things of the church to feeling like we need a break from this place. It doesn't take long for our crying out to the Lord for deliverance to become excuses for why we don't need to bother coming to his house of worship. As quickly as our devotion can change, as easily as our attention and desires can turn to other things, God's love for us never changes. He remains true to his promises to redeem and rescue and restore the children that he dearly loves. And nothing can stop him from completing this work for us. Jesus knew that it wouldn't take long for the crowd to turn on him. He knew that it wouldn't take long for his disciples to abandon him. Jesus knew that it wouldn't take long for the sin of man to nail the holiness of God to a cross. And yet, his course for Jerusalem never faltered. His love for you never changes. He endures all of it for you. Return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Amen. And now may the peace of God that passes all human understanding keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.